Hi, my name is Kelly Smith, and the topic of this video is uh, the Zero Data Loss Autonomous Recovery Service and how you monitor backups. This is a very easy process, and I'm going to walk you through the steps. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we saw how to configure automatic backups. At this point, automatic backups have been running. Um, you'll see that you have zero, um, zero seconds for data loss exposure, and that's because real-time protection is enabled for the database, and that's what gives you the zero seconds. You'll see uh, last failed backup as, uh, as a field option there, and it's empty, which means we just haven't had any failed backups, which is a good thing, and that's normal. Um, last completed backup was on October 12th, and backups occur for this database once a day. Um, you'll see our next scheduled backup is from 2 a.m. to 4 a.m. That's what we selected in the previous video. Um, you'll see the space used for the backups right now is about 10 terabytes. Um, and of course, that is controlled by the policy settings. Um, so our particular policy right now is set at bronze, which is 14 days of retention. So um, backups will be purged after they're 14 days old, um, right around that time. And you know, that's how you control your recovery window and the amount of space being used. Um, notice our backup destination is the Autonomous Recovery Service. So when we click on this link, it'll take us to some more detailed information about the backups. And you know, you'll notice that there's some, some repeated information that came from the database screen. Um, and now we're looking at the protected database information in the Autonomous Recovery Service console. So you see the same protected, um, it's real-time protections enabled, data loss exposure zero, there's a policy in your recovery window. Note that your recovery window um, is 14 days because that's the retention policy. Um, 14 days in a few hours. Purge operations happen, and that that number will go will go back down. You'll also see your current space utilization. We also project space utilization, so you can see those two numbers are pretty close, um, as uh, because we've reached the 14 day retention period that you've specified. So it'll kind of plateau at this point. Um, projected database size is. Uh, 5.8 terabytes or so, provide that information so you have some idea of the correlation between database size and the amount of space that's being used for backup. And some other information, we of course, we have the duration of the last backup. So you can see that the last backup for our database took 19 minutes, 50 seconds. And then down here at the bottom, we have the link that goes back to the database console so that you can see uh, so you can go back and forth between the two consoles. You can go from the detailed information for database protection to the database, from the database back to the detailed information. So you can go back and forth. Now, if we scroll down the window, uh, just under this information, we have metrics that are associated with the backups. Um, so we're going to change that uh, quick select to the last 30 days so that we can look at metrics that have, that have occurred over the last 30 days for this database. You'll notice that um, there was an initial onboarding right there around September 20th, um, and that's when we started getting information for this database. The first backup was taken, and then, then you've got the incremental backups that were taken from there onward. Um, then you have pools that are, occur, that are metered in once per week. So from a metering perspective, you get a full every week. Um, and then you'll start to see things plateau. Um, so data rises up, and then it hurts the purge um, of 14 days, and it falls back down. Then data is collected from the database, and it hits 14 days, and it falls back down. So you'll, you're going to start seeing this gyration um, with the graphs because we've reached the top of the recovery window of 14, uh, 14 days. On the right-hand side, you see the statistics that cover the uh, database size, because obviously if your database is growing very rapidly, um, that's also going to cause your the, the space that you need for your recovery window to grow as well. Now moving onward, the last thing that I want to show here, we're going to go, uh, go back and look at database backups. Um, and what this is going to do is it's going to show you a roll-up 
of informa information into a dashboard of all the databases that are being protected by the recovery service in a particular compartment. So you'll see here, we've got the source database information. We've got real, you know, if you've got real-time protection enabled or not, we've got the data loss exposure. Um, and you can see the difference here, right? Finance has uh, real-time protection enabled and the data loss exposure is zero. Sales has it disabled and the current data loss exposure is about 11, you know, a little over 11 minutes. You can also see um, your recovery window information. So, and this of course is based on the policy. So you'll notice that sales is using a, a policy we call silver um, and it has more, re, more of a recovery window than the finance database above, which is using the bronze policy. Um, and that's because the retention policy for the, the retention settings in that policy are different for those two policies. So that covers the monitoring capabilities for the recovery service. I hope you found this information valuable um, and we'll continue to watch the recording series for the recovery service. Thank you.